but she finally found the baby's heartbeat because she was so low and they thought she was like up here. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for my 26 and 27 week bump date. And of course, right when I say that, she starts kicking. Um, so I am going to let you guys know that yesterday I did have my appointment with my midwife and I it was my glucose test and then also they check for iron. Um, so I got those test results back today and the one thing that they were concerned about is my iron. I did pass my glucose test with flying colors um, and then they let me know that my iron is actually on the borderline of getting um, iron infusions, IV iron infusions at the hospital. So they said, let me see here, my iron went from 40.5 to 30.6. And they said that is a significant dip. And I have an appointment in two weeks on, let's see here, I think it's the 6th, the 13th of February. So the day before Valentine's Day. If my iron does not come up before then, or they might have me come in before that appointment just to get my blood drawn, because I have been wondering also why I've been feeling so weak. I literally squatted down the other day to put my son on my back and went to stand up and I could not stand up. Like my legs had zero strength. Um, so I am kind of confused because I have been eating so good and eating cereals that are like fortified in iron, a lot of cereal, a lot of spinach. I do lots of smoothies. Maybe I need to do one every single day. Um, I take my magnesium every day. I take three prenatal vitamins a day. I take vitamin D. If you look at my other pregnancy updates on the supplements that I'm taking, I take a lot of extra stuff for um, that but I do have a history of anemia when I was a child I had severe anemia and had to be um, bottle fed iron supplements so um, as you can tell she is I just ate like a bunch of stuff that's like rich in iron beans and cereal and then I started eating a little bit of popcorn which probably isn't you know have anything to do with the iron but Anyways, I'm going to get right into my symptoms and what the baby is doing this week and what her size is. The other thing that they let me know was that I was only measuring 24 weeks and I'm 27 weeks tomorrow. So they were kind of concerned about that and if um, that doesn't change they want to do an ultrasound so um that was kind of concerning but i also know that last time i had my appointment the baby was transverse when they were measuring her and she was kind of transverse again today so right now she is loving to be on this side and i'm pretty sure she's head down and her bottom is right here because I feel kicks over here and then in my like back so I know she's facing my back um but I've been having a lot of pain like over here on the side because she just is laying right here and that is where she's comfortable at right now so um it hurts really bad and I kind of just like massage it a little bit not hoping that she moves just hoping that my muscles can relax a little bit and let go um so anyways that was that and i really would like to have an ultrasound just to check on her fluid and stuff like that because i am just concerned with going into labor early i would like to have my cervix checked for the lengthening 
since my 18 week ultrasound and make sure that I haven't had any shortening in my cervix. So I think the main things that I have been having are, I've been having headaches, which I think um, was from being dehydrated because I was having really bad Braxton Hicks contractions, which say are normal at this stage of pregnancy. Um, and the hormone fluctuations for the headaches, it's normal because it starts fluctuating again. And I have been having the worst pregnancy brain. They were weighing me on the scale and she asked me my birthday and I like looked at her and I was like, um, I could not seriously. I was like, I, I can't even, I just had my birthday on New Year's. So that was kind of hilarious, but not hilarious. So it says on here on my app that you'll have slightly higher blood pressure and that's normal in this phase of pregnancy. Um, they didn't tell me my blood pressure was abnormal at my appointment, so I'm assuming it was fine. I normally have low blood pressure. I have been having swelling in my legs, and I just uploaded a vlog yesterday, and I talk about and show the swelling in my legs in the vlog, so, um, that has been something that I've been dealing with. I also have been dealing with a little bit of sleep issues, mainly because I think it's her position really bothers me at night, and if I'm sleeping on my right side, because she's over here, it really hurts. But then when I'm laying on my left side, it hurts because like, she falls to the left side and then this muscle has been so sore from her being over here that when I roll over it's just like this pulling of this whole side of my muscles. So and then my son has not been um he's just been like growing. I think he's going through a growth spurt because he wakes up saying he wants milk and he wants a bottle in the middle of the night at like three in the morning. So um, I've been getting up with him at that time and giving him milk. And also it's really, really super dry here in Montana. It's been raining, so that's been really good, but I literally turn our humidifier on in our room. He's sleeping with me in my room. And I have that going like an hour or two before we even go to bed. And then I also will turn on the shower in our room and steam up the bathroom and our bedroom and shut all the doors so it like locks the steam in there. Um, but I have been having bloody noses and um, really dry, dry dryness in my nose. So I've been putting coconut oil in there and bag balm and my son has been having a lot of just boogery nose and then he can't sleep at night because he can't breathe. I really just contacted my doctor I had during my pregnancy with my son. He's a high risk doctor for um, maternal fetal medicine and when I lost my son's twin right after that I had bleeding and when I went in, I had low-lying placenta. That's what they figured out the bleeding was from. So I was put on bed rest until the placenta moved and I stopped bleeding. And then I had him a month early. So um, they were monitoring me really close because they needed to make sure that the other baby was shrinking properly and wasn't gonna cause like an infection or any issues in my body or with my son's pregnancy. So, um, I contacted him because I feel like I love my midwives, but they're very hands off. They don't like to mess with you a lot, which I love, but I get, I just need ultrasounds because I get anxiety and stress and I just want my cervix to be measured like every two weeks now that I'm going to the doctor every two weeks because it just puts me at peace of mind. I did have a lot of CM and if you guys want to look that up, 
just Google that for like infertility and CM. Um, but it will tell you that it is like mucus that you have when you are pregnant and or not pregnant and trying to conceive. But anyways, I had a lot of that and then I started having a bunch of contractions. So that freaked me out because I thought it was my mucus plug coming out. But um, I was just really worried the other day um, because... So when I had my doctor's appointment, um, they measured my stomach, you know, they weigh you, they measure your stomach and all that. And then they listen to the baby's heartbeat and she felt for the baby first and put the Doppler over here where she thought the baby was. I'm assuming that it was her butt. I, I don't know. She said the baby was transverse again. So, which I don't think she was. I mean, now, because she's, like, totally over here on this side. Um, but she couldn't find the baby's heartbeat for probably a few minutes. It was probably three minutes, but it felt like ten minutes. So she put the Doppler here, and then she put it over here, and she still couldn't find the baby's heartbeat. So she starts moving around, and I'm, like, started crying. I was, like... I just felt her moving like earlier that morning even though she's had decreased movement since I had the contractions it was like the next day she wasn't moving at all and it was freaking me out for like hours so then she put the Doppler over here and I started crying and my son was in the room and he came over and he was saying sissy sissy okay sissy okay and I was like yeah he's oh she's okay she's okay and they let him press the buttons on the Doppler, but she finally found the baby's heartbeat because she was so low and they thought she was like up here. So anyways, they finally found it and said that her heartbeat was 152, so that's good. Um, the only thing, like I said, that they're concerned about is my iron and um, I was measuring 24 weeks instead of 26 or 27 weeks but I noticed like I said that the other midwife measured me differently um this lady just the way she measured me was different and each midwife you know everybody's technique is different so I'm not super concerned with it but I am so um they want to do an ultrasound eventually and I just repeated myself because I have pregnancy brain anyways I'm gonna go to now um, that I just made an appointment for myself tomorrow I have a chiropractor appointment because my tailbone's been hurting I don't know if I've mentioned this in my other updates but I broke my tailbone when I um, gave birth to my son and it's been hurting for a little bit, but not bad enough to where I feel like I need to do anything about it. But my midwife was like, you need to go start going to the chiropractor because it's going to help me with birth. And so as you can tell, I'm also out of breath. She is like, I don't know. It's like my boobs and my stomach are like touching now. So, um, yeah, that is really hard for me to breathe. I've also been having really bad pelvic pain and it's not like right in the center but it's like on the sides where I feel my quads and my groin muscles are attaching to the bones and every time I step it just is like this pain of like pulling on my pelvic bones so that hasn't been that's probably like the worst thing I've been feeling that has been driving me nuts. Like literally I am just like, I cannot walk anymore. I need to sit down and I'm, I just can't believe this is happening already at like 26 weeks. I feel like she is way bigger than my son already at this point. Um, I'm pretty sure with my son at this point where I am with her, I was like this at 35 weeks with my son because I remember my belly button being flat and I was like oh my gosh like that's crazy and with my son at 35 weeks and it's already flat and like ready to pop out right now with her so I think she's gonna be a fat little turkey baby and um she's gonna be a lot bigger than my son I think 
But anyways, um, the next thing, I think that's all besides the chiropractor. Um, so I'm going to do a new patient exam and all that stuff. Um, I started to get some things for my hospital bag. And this weekend I am going to go buy a new suitcase um, for the hospital. And I got these little fuzzy socks from Sears and they're super cute. They were literally on sale for so cheap. They're closing the Sears here. So um, they had so much stuff on sale that I wanted to buy, but some of the stuff I didn't really like love, love for baby girl. So, but these are the first pair and they're really cute. And then these ones are just like pink with gray. And I think I showed you guys in my last update that I have gray um, slippers that I got from Mini Tonka. And then I got these little socks for her. And I love them. They have like these, there's eight pairs in here or six pairs. And I loved the colors because the other outfits that I got her with flowers on them have these colors and this color. So I thought it would be really good because they would match. And also I got these newborn onesies from Carter's that have the little hand flaps on the end. And what I love about this, I'll show you really quick, is that the little pants set that I got from Cloud Island from Target. They will match this, how well it matches with all the different colors. So um, that's gonna be fun. I'm kind of, you know, trying to make sure that when I buy stuff, I'm being more intentional about what I'm buying um, and making sure that kind of stuff goes together because I just don't want to have like this big hodgepodge of unmatching things. But also the socks go really, really well with this. Um, even the light pink matches and the gray and the teal color, the aqua. So adorable. And I just love the detailing on these socks and I love Carter's. They're just, you know, a good quality brand. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for my update. I just want to let you guys know that I am going to, from here on out, not be showing all the baby stuff, like the little bits of baby stuff that I get because I am going to do one video on like once I, cause I ordered a lot of stuff and I'm waiting for it to come. So I'm just going to do one big haul on all of the baby stuff and then I'll do a nursery tour reveal and have it all washed and organized in her room. I'm also going to do a closet organization video because my next nesting frenzy that I have is going to be on her closet and I ordered a cubby for her closet and hangers and dividers and baskets. So I'm waiting for those to come and when I get those, I'm gonna film that and then it will include all of the clothes that I got for her. So, um, and then I have family members that are buying stuff that I'm waiting to be shipped. So I think that's pretty much it for this update. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. I really appreciate all of my new subscribers that I've had in the last week. It's been really amazing to watch my little channel grow and I am trying to meet the February 20th deadline. I doubt that it's going to happen because of the hours part of it and you have to have both. So a thousand subscribers and also 4,000 hours, which is a lot. I would need like 250,000 views um, to reach 4,000 hours by then. So that would be a miracle and miracles happen every day. So you never know, but I would love to keep doing that. So thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking and 
giving my little channel a thumbs up for effort because it takes a lot to film videos, edit them, and all that when I don't have my husband here during the week. But I find time to do it. I can do it. There's mommies that do it that have five kids that are single. So like Jess Pham, she's one of my inspirations. If she can do it, I can do it. So I not only have one. So anyways, that is it for my update. And I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. I have a vlog from yesterday that I'm going to edit and get up. So that is pretty much it. And maybe I'll film a little bit of my chiropractic appointment um, tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think it's time for me to go because I'm going to go take a nap and show you guys my bump. So I had my little measuring thing out today and I was measuring baby girl this way the way they do. But I was going to measure this way for you guys. And I'm not sure exactly how this is supposed to go, but right now at the roundest part, I am measuring 38 inches or let's see, 37 and a half inches. So that is it for that. And this is my little baby bump. It is very round right now. I am wearing my maternity leggings. And these leggings I got from a shop here called Apricot Lane. And they are lined with fleece because if you did not have fleece, you would be frozen here in Montana. But they have this really stretchy. I love this because it's actually pretty tight and it feels like it holds you in and kind of smooths you out like a little bit almost like Spanx. So um, and then I just wear like my little tank top over that but that's pretty much it and this is one of my maternity shirts that I got from Walmart. If you guys are interested I can link this. Um, it has the little tie here and the scrunchy little sleeves on it. I love it, but this is my little baby bump. I'll see you guys later. By the way, I don't have any stretch marks yet, and um, I guess I can show you guys my belly, but like I said, I don't have any stretch marks yet, and then I was going to show you guys right here I actually had a mole removed that was atypical and um, they said at risk to turning into melanoma. So that was another thing I forgot to mention was um, I am going into the dermatologist this week. That was my other appointment. But as of now, I don't have any stretch marks yet. Um, and I'm pretty sure, so my belly button is popping out on the top, but it's pretty tight right now because I just ate so much. But yeah, that's my little baby belly. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.